Hi folks, Tim O'Connell with Renegade RV, Regional Sales Manager. Going to do a quick overview today on the 2023 model year Explorer. This happens to be the 38 EMB floor plan that you're seeing today. This has the Stratus exterior paint. There are five paint jobs that are available on the 2023 model year. Also on interior decor, there are three selections there. We'll get into that as we move into the coach. This coach is built on a Freightliner P4 Cascadia 116 chassis. It's powered by a DD13 505 horsepower engine. The transmission is an Allison 4000 TRV. It is a six speed, generates up to 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. The towing capacity on this coach is up to 20,000 pounds. Obviously, it's riding on 22 and a half inch wheels and rubber. For more details on this specific chassis and the platform for the Explorer, please contact your retail selling salesperson or you can go to Renegade RV's website, www.renegaderv.com. And there'll be more information posted there uh, and updates, etc. Talk a little bit more about the chassis. I want you to understand that Renegade is all about safety. Uh, and this chassis plays a big part in that task. Part of that is the high intensity headlamps here. Also your fog lamp uh, helps you give uh, peace of mind uh, in, in inclement weather. Your side turn signal camera on this side, also on the driver's side, works in conjunction with the rear backup camera as well. Added safety. We already talked about the tires, but they are Michelin. Your drive tire is Michelin on a Koa rims, 22 and a half inch. We move down a little bit further, the step area here. So this is grip area here so you don't slip on the inside of the cab there's a couple of handles there to help you enter and exit the coach uh, safely now you're going to ask what what's this thing that is part of the safety assurance package so that's a suite of safety items on the chassis we'll get into detail on that when we get into the into the cab and, and talk more about that and how it relates to the chassis and the coach as a whole so as we go uh, further down the campsite of the Explorer 3080 MB, want to talk about our storage. Of course, uh, insulated storage doors, 090 aluminum, dual latch points, so it latches top and bottom. This happens to have the optional uh, spray-in liner in the bays, so it's easier to clean. This is housing your uh, Victron 3000 watt inverter and then uh, ample storage space also gas shocks on all our doors these are slam latches so they close very firmly keep things safe tidy and dry this is a larger bay uh, a lot more ample storage also to help you understand that these are all lit at individual points and controlled inside or off your smartphone outside here this is your Outside entertainment, which is a 32 inch um, TV. Actually, this is a 43 inch TV. It's gone up from 32 to 43 for 2023, a good thing. We move down here a little bit further and you're gonna see your Aqua Hot. So this is a 450D, it is an engine preheat. And this is your primary source for hot water and obviously your coach heat. So now we approach the entry door, the RV entry door is the most important thing on the coach in my opinion. You got two lock points here, but you also have a keyless entry here as well. A nice strong safety handle here that is also lit for convenience. And you have your uh, frameless window here. As we move forward, you, again, your Michelin 22 and a half inch uh, tires and Ecoa wheels. You have a docking light here, a little bit added safety and comfort. You move to this side here and we open this up and you have a, what we call a three quarter pass through. It's not a complete pass through, but plenty of room for tables, chairs and things of that nature. Now you'll also notice inside of this compartment that there is a 110 outlet and also a 12 volt outlet as we move down here. This is a smaller storage area for your um, travel bars, which we uh, highly recommend that you use those uh, when traveling, when the, when the slides are in, but that's a good spot for those. And then you also have your central vac uh, is in this compartment and your extra tile. We always provide a little bit of extra tile uh, there, but ample storage on the camp side of the coach. 
Again, two point latching system, your gas shock, nice and clean, nice and dry, closes very well. All the bays are lit, a lot of storage. So now we're at the back of the coach. And like all Renegades, Renegade has a two piece cap rear end here. The top portion is the primary, the lower portion is the bumper area. Now, if there's any damage that's gonna be done, it's relatively gonna be isolated to the lower area here. So it's a lot easier to fix and repair if that becomes necessary, as opposed to a full cap like much of our competition uses. So you're not dealing with a full cap, just a portion of it. So let's start at the top. You got your five marker lights up there. A little bit further down, you have your rear backup camera and then your brake lights here, center and side. As you come down, more brake lights there. Again, safety, no, we're all about safety. The Explorer marker here, and then the bumper portion. So let's talk about that. You have your backup light here, a docking light, your lower glad hand assist here if you need that, if you have an air trailer or whatnot. You got your 20,000 pound hitch. You got your backup camera connection here if you have a camera for a trailer. Your seven-way bargeman, of course, your license plate there. Another docking light there. This would be your exhaust for your generator and another backup light here. Again, two-piece cap, a lot safer, a lot easier to work on if damage does occur. That's why Renegade does that on all their products. So we're on the road side of the coach now, and this compartment houses your 26-foot, 50-amp power shore cord. You also have two 110 outlets back here, 15-amp, and you have your surge guard protected transfer switch. Now, as we come over here, this is pretty simple. Uh, this is your Cummins Onan 8,000 kilowatt generator, uh, capable of providing enough power for the entire coach. Um, so that, that's pretty simple. As we come back here, another docking light, <clears throat> and then again, the Michelin tires, uh, still important on the Alcoa aluminum rim. So this is Renegade's wet bay, pretty simple. Black tank, gray tank dump, black tank uh, washout, your cable hookup, your uh, automated hose reel, optional uh, on the Explorer. You have your uh, whole house water filter here, low point drain, you also have a spigot as well, and the flow jet macerator system. Now the hose and all that is in the back uh, here in this compartment. This is your 75 gallon black tank. Uh, it's also heated, again, here's your macerator uh, hose there. The other compartment here has your uh, 75 gallon gray tank, also heated with 12 volt pads. This is the battery bay on the Renegade Explorer 3080 MB. This is equipped with the optional lithium battery upgrade. There's more details with your salespeople and or on our website, renegaderv.com. Of course, three house batteries. You have three separate chassis batteries here for the cab itself. You'll also notice that there's an air chuck here and a 35 foot uh, long air hose that comes with all of the Explorers. So now we've reached the driver's side door of the cab. Again, you're gonna see the safety steps here, non-slip. You're also going to see here is your 120 gallon diesel fuel fill. You also have your def fill, same side, very convenient there. You also look here and you have your engine preheat plug in here, so if it's cold weather, you can keep that uh, engine warm. Again, the 22 and a half inch wheels and tires, uh, Michelin and Alcoa, and then obviously your side turn ca camera here in conjunction with the other side. Obviously, you have your, your side view mirror, all power and convex up here. So let's take a look at the inside of the cab. So now we're in the cab of the P4 Cascadia. Now that is applied to all Explorers, all XLs and all um, classics and the Icon. Um, part of the new 2023 P4 Cascadia is the new dash and it is a digital dash. Now you have some of the same uh, analog applications as far as your HVAC is concerned, some of your switches in terms of engaging axle, dropping airbags, etc., cetera, um, and working your air brake. Now we have a smart wheel here and that is control center for the digital dash. Uh, for safety. The left side of your smart wheel is going to control uh, your primary 12 inch LED screen. Now that is a non-touch screen. It gives you your primary uh, applications as far as information. So you have an analog uh, information point here for mileage, 
and uh, RPM. You also have a digital point down here. It's gonna give you oil pressure, um, air pressure, fuel gauge, depth gauge, uh, airbag uh, rating, clock, temperature, things of that nature. Now you can change screens if you choose. You can do that with the left side of your smart wheel. On the right side of the smart wheel, that controls your 10 inch touch screen. Now that's pretty nice because you can actually scroll and you can click on a specific point for lighting. For example, um, you can go back and you can click on for chassis and it gives you chassis information, detailed tire pressure monitor, axles, maintenance uh, guide, diagnostics, etc. cetera. Um, you have cab, you have your traditional gauges, but it's gonna give you your coolant temperature, engine oil temperature, uh, your transmission oil temperature, etc. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the best way though, to really learn and take advantage of this technology is to use it. Uh, just play with it, just use it. It's very similar to your automobile or SUV or truck that you're driving on a daily basis, but just use it, get comfortable with it. I'm sure that um, it'll be very simple for you to acclimate. Now, if you want some more detailed information, you can go to either Daimler or Freightliner and put in P4 Cascadia Digital Dash and they'll give you more defined information and detailed information on the digital dash. But that's what we have here. Again, play with it, use it, and learn it. So let's talk about the rest of the coach. Let's take a peek. So as we enter the 2023 model year Explorer 38 EMB, to my right here is the residential refrigerator. It is a French door, so refrigerator on top, Freezer on the bottom, got nice latches here to secure the doors for travel, also one on this side. As we progress this way, you'll see a nice size countertop here and all our countertops are solid surface. The pantry is below and you have deep drawers and a lot of storage here, which makes it very convenient. People like to make a little bar here as well, a nice prep area. You'll notice that all the shades are day shades and night shades. And then above here is your AV cabinet. So that's nice. Here is the couples dinette. Now the 3080 MB is designed as a couples coach. So you don't have a full size dinette. It's a two person dinette, but it's very, very comfortable. Um, and it's simple to enjoy from a seating standpoint. You can sit back and have a nice conversation. That's the way these seats were designed. It's also very comfortable, obviously. Now, another feature that we have here is two cup holders, but underneath each cup holder, you're gonna have 110 outlets. You're gonna have your primary USB and then a micro USB, which is important on either side. So if you wanna use this as a workstation or a charging station, you can do that. Right here is your televator for your 50 inch TV. So that goes up and down automatically off this or the primary Firefly screen. Again, your nightshade and your day shade on all the windows. Now the windows are insulated, so they are a dual pane insulated window, which is very important. But again, it's a couple's coach and the dinette is very comfortable. So as we get into the overhead storage on the cab, you have storage on the passenger side and like storage on the driver's side here. There's also a 110 outlet there, which is convenient. Not a lot of storage, but, but a little bit. In the middle here, you have your primary control for your equalizer leveling system. So that's important. That can also be utilized with your smartphone and or tablet. Uh, so there's an app for that. So as we move over to uh, the sofa in the living quarter here, this is a sleeper sofa. It's got nice design, very modern. Again, this is the Moonstone interior decor. It's a modern gray. It's really a nice, uh, nice soft gray. You'll also notice the overhead cabinets, a lot of storage up here uh, on these. This is the Woodstock stain. So that's the decor color of the wood. Now let's talk about the cabinets a little bit. They are all solid maple. There's no wraps, no um, press board. There, there's, there's no vinyl in that respect. This is all solid maple and it is stained in this particular instance in the Woodstock. So we move over to here, you got your convection microwave. We all know what that does. Underneath here, you have true induction cooktop. There's two spots for that. 
and nice uh, solid surface countertop covers to give you more expanse for your surface uh, for your surface in your countertop. So here, deep bowl sink, stainless steel, single bowl, also covers adjustable uh, faucet. Again, your day night shades are here. But one of the things we did new for 2023, we have an all glass backsplash and we brought it all the way up, which makes it very, very nice. Obviously your 110 outlet is there. Now, more storage underneath, soft closed drawers, of course. Whoops, a lot of remotes in there. <laughs> That's good. And so more drawer storage there. Again, soft close. One of the things that's important to see, and you can talk about it, is the dovetail on all the drawers. So it's important. Under storage there, and you have your subwoofer there. It's part of the AV package. More storage here. There's storage everywhere. Above storage as well. Above storage, above storage. So as we start to talk about the bathroom, I want to point out a couple things. More storage above here and below. This is your main uh, hub for your Firefly. And a nice thing about the 3080 EMB is it is a mid bath. So access to the bathroom from the entry, mid entry, is really convenient, especially when you're entertaining outside. The mid bath has a, a macerator toilet. It is a china bowl, so it's not plastic. And you have a nice solid surface shower. Now it's, it's pretty good size, uh, nicely accented also uh, solid surface countertops that match the kitchen and the like, and a glass backsplash similar to what's in the kitchen. You have a medicine cabinet with a mirror on it and abundance of storage. So directly across from the mid bath, you're gonna find more storage above here and then an additional area here. This is where your breakers are, so it's very convenient. To the right a little bit, you have dryer up top and you have washer on the bottom. So they are two separate items, they work very well. So let's go look into the master bedroom here and talk about that. So in here, pretty simple, you have a 66 inch wide by 80 inch, what we call a mini king bed. So you have a memory foam mattress, which is standard from Renegade, an abundance of storage above the bed. Now there are a couple of controllers here for your Firefly, and that operates everything in this specific room. To the side here, you're gonna have 110 outlets, USB and micro USB on either side, a little shelf here to put your cell phone on. Um, if you will, you have a padded headboard, which is very nice and framed, modern. You have windows on either side, which are screens, so give you some cross airflow. And above here, you have a nice ceiling fan. Underneath this bed uh, in the platform there is your 150 gallons of fresh water. So that is the capacity in conjunction with your gray and your black tanks at 75 each. As we move over to the wardrobe here, you have a fair amount of space here. Hanging space high, an additional hanging space low, and a trap door here for long uh, garments, if you happen to have those. So as we move over here, you have a little bit more storage here, and you have another AV cabinet here. Below is a nice big expansive drawer, again, soft close. Three drawers on that side, more hanging wardrobe on this side, and then your 32 inch TV, again, day shades, night shades, a nice balance, but nice countertop space here. And then your 110 outlet is next to that as well. I wanna say thank you folks for viewing this uh, short video on the all new 2023 model year Explorer 38 EMB. I'm Tim O'Connell, Regional Sales Manager for Renegade RV. Don't forget to subscribe. If you need more information, go to our website at www.renegaderv.com. Look forward to seeing you in the future. Thanks.